North Texas Hospital says an elevator accident is now having a ripple effect on patient and staff safety. The concerns over at JPS Hospital come one week after an employee was seriously injured on an elevator. The hospital is revealing it's had problems with as many as seven elevators since that day. Jason Allen joins us live in Fort Worth with the new developments in this story. Jason? And Gilma, the hospital CEO, is not happy with the company. He says is contract, contracted to do the work on the elevators here. He says that last week the hospital had to demand that more technicians come out. And because of that, the hospital now has an outside third party elevator experts to kind of oversee the work from here on out. This all goes back to last Sunday. That's when an employee had to be rescued from one of the public elevators and revived with CPR. Now, JPS has not revealed the details of that incident. However, in this open letter today to international elevator company Thiessen Krupp, CEO Robert Early specifically mentioned that the company is supposed to ride each elevator monthly, inspecting safety edges, sensing devices, floor stops and leveling, and brake operations, as well as all safety devices. But Early said that so far the company has had, quote, seeming indifference to what happened, which he says is unacceptable and jeopardizes the safety of our patients and team members. Members. Now, late this afternoon, we did get a response from Thiessen Krupp about this, saying that they did inspect elevators in March and in April. Those are the state-required inspections. They also came back out and did a walkthrough of all the elevators on the day of the accident, writing in that statement to us today that the elevators then were found to be operating correctly and in a safe manner. We're continuing to work with JPS to ensure the highest level of responsiveness and service of its elevators. We're live in Fort Worth tonight. Jason Allen, CBS 11 News. Jason, thank you very much.